Madam Chairperson, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to take part in today's special ceremonial segment of the 64th session of the Commission on Narcotics Drugs to commemorate the 60th anniversary of the 1961 Single Convention on Narcotics Drugs and the 50th anniversary of the 1971 Convention on Psychotropic Substances. The two conventions, along with the Convention on Illicit Traffic in Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances of 1988, constitute the cornerstone of the international drug control system. These conventions are among the most widely ratified legally binding international documents. Their near universal adherence reflects the broad international consensus they embody. Madam Chairperson, the complexity of the world drug problem has increased dramatically in the past few years. Both the range of drugs and the markets for these drugs are expanding. The illicit cultivation, production, and abuse of narcotic drugs and psychotropic substances and illicit trafficking in these and their per precursors have reached record levels. The COVID-19 pandemic has intensified the drug problem, heightening drug use and impairing the ability of health and social systems to cope with the drug crisis. Evidence also points towards funding shortages and diversion of resources away from drug-related initiatives. Madam Chairperson, the world drug problem can only be most effectively addressed in a multilateral context. Relying on an integrated, balanced, and comprehensive approach, promoting and protecting health, safety, and well being of all in accordance with the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda. In this regard, I would like to highlight the following key points. One, the principle of, quote, common and shared responsibility, unquote is of critical importance in international counter-drug cooperation. Regional and international cooperation has to be reinforced, focusing on policy coordination, exchange of information, as well as capacity building initiatives, provision of uh, equipment and technology and technical assistance for developing countries. Two, all efforts to address and counter the world drug problem, including demand and supply reduction, should be undertaken in strict conformity with the three drug control conventions, the 2009 political declaration and its plan of action, the UNGA special session 2016's outcome document, and the recommendations of the 2019 Ministerial Declaration. Three, all member states should address drug-related socioeconomic issues, including illicit cultivation of narcotic plants and illicit manufacture and production and trafficking of drugs through the implementation of long-term, comprehensive and development-oriented drug control policies and programs. Madam Chairperson, the various functional commissions of the Economic and Social Council, in particular, the Commission on Narcotic Drugs, continue to make a vital contribution to the work of the Council in building effective responses to the global drug problem. In line, with the UNGA's Special Session 2016 outcome document, the Commission on Narcotic Drugs 
has an important role to contribute to the global follow-up and support and thematic review of progress on the Sustainable Development Goals. I believe that the discussions and recommendations of the 64th session of CND would greatly contribute to the 2021 High-Level Political Forum to be held in July this year. Despite the challenges, I am hopeful that the international community is on the right path. Together, we can implement a coordinated, balanced and comprehensive approach, the best possible way to implement our joint international commitments and to ensure a positive impact on the lives of millions of people around the world. I thank you.